Good evening, Lauren. Well, you know, some people work best under pressure, and that notion is put to the test at these hackathon events. I mean, students joined teams on Friday and worked through the weekend to create something new, and their finished products were pretty impressive. Take a look. It was game on at the 2016 hackathon at CSUMB. Participants had less than three days to create games to solve community problems. I spent one uh, full day, so like the whole 24 hours of, of doing it, and then I finally got sleep on the, the second day. Brian and his team created a virtual tour of the campus. Their goal was to help students find their way around. As a senior, there were still some buildings that I had no idea existed, so this was kind of a, a learning experience for me in some way. Other teams tackled public transportation and finance. This teaches you to be very careful about living within your means. As you can see, we're getting swarmed, so we allocate our dollars, and as we do, our happiness level quickly drops as we're getting overrun by our out-of-control costs. A light-hearted approach to a serious problem. I know here at CSUMB, we actually do have a lot of homeless students who will sleep in their car or eat very cheaply just because they cannot afford rent. Noah and his team looked beyond their campus, taking players on a journey through the foster system. I'm not going to lie, it's difficult because the foster program, once you've aged out, doesn't help you a lot. So you find yourself running through a lot of difficulties, and this game is here to enunciate that, to show that we need a change in the foster system. This was the first year students from Gavilan College joined in, expanding opportunities for hands-on experience. Feels more like like you're creating something and it's it's yours. I think it was a really good experience, especially since it's my first time. Yeah, you know, I'm a freshman, so um, I think it's really setting me, you know, on that path for a successful CS career. And um, I'm really excited about future hackathons. And the team that called themselves the Traveling Otters won first place with their virtual tour of the campus. They took home some Amazon gift cards and a pretty neat program that the university might want to adapt for their students. Learn. Very neat stuff. Thanks so much, Bianca. Appreciate it.